Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection Wednesday of the first week in Ordinary Time From the Gospel according to Mark, Chapter 1 Verse 29 to 39 On leaving the synagogue he entered the house of Simon and Andrew. With James and John, Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever. They immediately told him about her. He approached, grasped her hand, and helped her up. Then the fever left her, and she waited on them. When it was evening, after sunset, they brought to him all who were ill or possessed by demons. The whole town was gathered at the door. He cured many who were sick with various diseases. And he drove out many demons, not permitting them to speak because they knew him. Rising very early before dawn, he left and went off to a deserted place, where he prayed. Simon and those who were with him pursued him and on finding him said, Everyone is looking for you. He told them, Let us go on to the nearby villages that I may preach there also, for this purpose have I come. So he went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. Gospel Reflection Simon's mother-in-law lay sick with a fever, writes Mark. We do not know if it is a mild ailment, but in old age even a simple fever can be dangerous. When one is old, one is no longer in control of one's body. One has to learn to choose what to do and what not to do. The vigor of the body fails and abandons us. Even though our heart does not stop yearning, one must then learn to purify desire, be patient, choose what to ask of the body and of life, and the special gentleness of Jesus, who touched her hand and gently leaned over her, clearly shows, from the very beginning, his special sensitivity towards the weak and the sick, which the Son of God had certainly learned from his mother. Please, let us make sure that the elderly, that grandparents, are close to children, to the young, to hand down this memory of life, to pass on this experience of life, this wisdom of life. To the extent to which we ensure that the young and the old are connected, to this extent there will be more hope for the future of our society. Today's Prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude for the example of Jesus, who, with special gentleness, touched the hand of Simon's mother-in-law, demonstrating his profound sensitivity towards the weak and the sick. In moments of illness and aging, when the vigor of the body fails, Teach us to purify our desires, to be patient, and to choose wisely in our requests of the body and life. May we, like Jesus, extend a caring hand to the elderly, ensuring their closeness to the young. Grant us the grace to foster connections between generations, that the wisdom of life may be passed down, and in this unity, may hope flourish for the future of our society. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.